Are you looking to start a new project at home? Check out Creative Bug. Creative Bug provides access to thousands of art and craft videos taught by recognized design experts and artists. You can learn how to paint, knit, crochet, sew, screen print, bake, and so much more, all for free with your St. Louis Public Library card. To get started, visit the library's website, slpl.org, and select Digital Content. Under this tab, you will find all of the digital resources you can access for free with your St. Louis Public Library card. We can find Creative Bug under By Subject and Online Learning, or under More and A to Z Resources. Today, let's click on Online Learning. Scroll down and select Creative Bug from the list. You'll now need to log in with your library card number and PIN. Once you enter this information, click the Login button. We are now on the main page for Creative Bug. If this is your first time accessing Creative Bug, you will need to create an account. Enter in your first name, last name, email, and password, and click Submit. If you already have a Creative Bug account, click on Login Now. Now that we've logged in, we'll see a page that says Success. We now have access to over thousands of classes to inspire us. We can go ahead and click on See Latest Classes here to get started. There are a few different ways you can explore the different classes available in Creative Bug. Up at the very top, if we place our cursor over Classes, we'll see a variety of different categories ranging from Art and Design, quilting, knitting, food and home, and kids. For example, if I go to knitting, I'll see a variety of different video courses I could explore, including accessories, baby and kids, and felting. A great feature of Creative Bug is you'll see all these different levels of classes. If I'm a beginner, or maybe I'm interested in a multi-part class, or I just want something quick that I can explore. You'll find all these different categories on the right-hand side, You'll also see an option to see all classes related to that particular topic. Another way you can search the classes on Creative Bug is by using the search bar. Today I'm interested in searching for embroidery classes. Over 160 different search results appear. I can click on any of these to get started. Other ways you can search the website from the search bar include images, Searching images will show different projects fellow Creative Bug users have uploaded and shared. You can also search by instructor. Maybe you have a particular artist that you really enjoy and would love to see what they offer. I'm going to take a look for Fancy Tiger and click on them from the search results. This will give me a little video about them in addition to a brief biography and a link to all their different classes that are available in Creative Bug, and also a gallery of images. Also from the search bar up at the top, you can search all the blog posts written by Creative Bug. If you aren't sure where to begin and would like to view a list of every class on every topic available in Creative Bug, go ahead and return to the home page by clicking Creative Bug in the left-hand corner. And from the main page, you can click on View All Classes. And you can begin exploring the different options here. You can filter your results up at the top if maybe you do have a particular category you're interested in, or you want to find classes for beginners, or a specific instructor. You can also sort your results by release date, most popular, and alphabetically. Let's explore a video tutorial. Today, I'm looking for a printmaking project. To find this, I'm going to select Classes, Art and Design, and Printmaking. In the upper left-hand corner, on all the tutorials, you'll notice a time. This is the length of time for the video tutorials for this particular class. Today I'm going to select From Block to Print, a printmaking daily challenge, and I notice it's three hours and six minutes long. I'm going to click on this class. If you're curious to see what other Creative Bug users have thought about a course, take a look up here at the top 
we can see 154 users have given this a five out of five star rating. Pretty good. We can begin viewing the video here by pressing the play button. If we scroll down below, we'll notice the chapters. Every video tutorial in Creative Bug is divided into different chapters. Each one includes a different video and you'll see they're all different lengths. Also beneath the video, you'll see quite a few different options. The first one is the description. This will give you an overview of what you'll learn in the class, what you'll get, and it also provides a PDF which includes instructions and often patterns or templates. Under materials, you'll find a list of everything you need to create this particular project. Under the gallery button, we'll find what other Creative Bug users have created, and you can also upload your work to the gallery as well. Under discussions, you can read comments or questions fellow Creative Bug users have posted, and you can also view more comments and post yourself. Under notes, this is where you can add any notes to yourself while you're viewing the video tutorial. If we click the Add to Watch List button, this will save this particular tutorial to our watch list. And we can also click on Transcript to view text of the audio that's included in the video. And you can also download the class PDF. If you click this button, it'll automatically download the document for you. And this will include instructions with what you'll learn, what materials you need, and here's where you'll find your patterns or templates. If we scroll to the very bottom of this course, we'll find related classes that we might find interesting. Let's go up to the top and check out the Inspiration tab. Let's first click on Calendar. When we first click Calendar, we find a video of one of the Creative Bug artists discussing their creativity. If we scroll down below, we'll find all the new monthly classes for the month of April. We'll find what date they'll be released, the topic, and then we'll find an option to play now. Let's say I'm interested in let's say I'm interested in learning more about how to use a Glowforge laser cutter. I can click on this project, see what it entails. And let's say I'd like to save it for later, so I'll add it to my watch list. Let's return to the Inspiration tab. Under here, we'll also find Inspiration Feeds. This is where you can upload any images that inspire you, or you can share pictures of your finished work. View images of fellow Creative Bug users' work. Under the Pattern Library, under Inspiration, here we'll find a curated collection of downloadable knit and crochet pattern PDFs. All of these are free to use, and they'll also have the skill level listed, how much yarn you'll need, and what kind of materials for crochet hooks or knitting needle sizes. Additionally, under Inspiration, you'll find class collections. These are different groups of video tutorials based on a similar topic. Let's say I'm interested in DIY sketchbooks. If I select this, I'll find a whole variety of courses all related to creating your own sketchbook. Finally, under Inspiration, we can find a list of all of the different instructors who teach classes in Creative Bug. Today, I want to learn more about Amanda Brown. At the top will be a video highlighting the artist, Below, a biography, links to her work and social media, and below we'll find all of her classes available in Creative Bug. Creating a wallpaper, lampshade, or even how to use an air compressor. And if we scroll down farther, we'll find a gallery of her created work. Another tab we can explore is CBTV or Creative Bug TV. Under here, we'll find different featured Creative Bug episodes. These include the monthly lookbooks, videos of mini documentaries, quick craft classes you can complete, and more. 
and also CB Live. These are Facebook Live videos that Creative Bug regularly posts, and you can find them all here. And down below, you can view more Meet the Instructor videos as well. And one last tab to explore. Under Daily Practice up at the top, this will bring us to Creative Bug's daily practice series. Every day they have something new that you can explore. Finally, how can you find out what videos you viewed or saved to your watch list? To do this, go to your upper right hand corner and you should see your initial. Click there and select recently watched or my watch list. From here, at the very top, we can see recently watched classes. We can see classes I've taken. I can see what classes I've completed, punch needle coasters, and I can also see what I've partially watched from block to print, a printmaking daily challenge. If I scroll down below, I can find everything I've saved to my watch list. I have my Glowforge project and my block print. Thank you for joining us for this quick overview of Creative Bug. If you have any questions, please email us at help at slpl.org. Thank you.